Okay, just a really quick update. Um, the sensor that I thought had failed is uh, working again. You can see there that if I bring it close into the metal, the red LED goes, and that means that it's tripping the way that it should be. And uh, I figured out, I think, what was going on. Uh, these sensors must be a little bit uh, sensitive to temperature or something. And uh, I typically keep my shop, you know, at 45 to 50 degrees during the winter when I'm not around to save energy. And um, so, you know, I thought that this might be related to a cold startup issue. Um, so I thought, okay, well, I'll take the sensor and warm it up in my hand like this and see if I can get it to uh, work again and lo and behold it did so I then I thought well let's try putting it in the freezer and see if it stops working and it did and I warmed it back up and now it works again so um, I don't know if that's a flaw in this particular sensor that maybe there's uh, you know some sort of current um, lapse that or a break in the in the current that happens when it gets cold and shrinks or something like that. Um, so the sensor that came bad from um, from CNC router parts, the first one that that went bad, I was not able to make work by by heating it up in my hand like that. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, it may be entirely possible that I had just had the bad luck of getting two bad sensors here. Um, the other thing that the temperature issue got me thinking about was um, I don't know if the proximity of this uh, sensor to um, to the metal uh, the distance that it trips changes as the temperature changes but uh, that's one issue that I want to investigate and make sure that I know about before I move ahead. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that that's right before I uh, go because otherwise I could be putting all this effort into getting all this stuff working and when I go from winter to summer, my proximity distances change and all of a sudden I'm milling somewhere where I don't want to be. And... Uh, uh, I don't want that to happen. So, anyway, uh, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.